Hey guys, welcome back to Games Mods. Uh, we have a package here from Luke from Out of Darts. Uh, I asked you guys what you wanted to see next after the slab, and this is what it'd be. So this is going to be the Nightingale. Uh, when this first came out, I was weary of getting it just because I had pro, um, proprietary mags. I was like, great, now I gotta figure out more mags to get, because the original two that uh, I had were, you know, just a regular, um, you know, straight mags, um, and then the, what was it, the, uh, the 18 uh, round worker mags, and then of course the big guys, the uh, Tachi 29 mags from Out of Darts. Um, and then after those came out, uh, we had the slanted ones come out from, uh, for the Phoenix uh, from Worker Mod, and then the Phoenix 2.0 of course. And then since then we've had a few blasters that go with those. But uh, from what I know, and it's not much, <laughs> but what I know is the Nightingale is the only one that takes these uh, little 15 uh, slim magazines. Um, so, yeah. And with the Nightingale here, I also picked up uh, some uh, extra magazines. Uh, as well as a carrying case for those magazines. So there's that. I think that's all that's in here. Yeah. All right. Let's see here. See the Nightingale on there from Worker. 14 plus. Step Nightingale, Nightingale, Nightingale. Worker, 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 worker. Warning, of course. Let's get into it. Now I believe I ordered the one that was uh, black and orange, just because I didn't want a full on orange one, even though it's probably the safest one. But uh, as long as it has an orange tip, I think I'm okay. So in the kit, you get a magazine to go with, some darts, which is nice, to fill the magazine, I'm guessing. What are you getting here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You get 10, ten darts? Yeah, 10 darts, and how big is this magazine? It's hard to tell, it's more than 10. <laughs> I'd guess 15. But there we go. There's the Nightingale itself, some instructions. Not sure what this is. We'll figure it out. Let's see, this is, is this a sling of some sort? Oh yeah, it's a sling. That's very cool. And then it comes with the Allen key, I'm guessing, to open something. Probably the battery door. Let's get it out of here. Now, I have a battery that I already bought. I Technically, I bought it for the... Um, oh God. For the OFD Quick, and it didn't go into it because it was the XT30 connector, and my OFD takes the XT60. So I used a different LiPo battery in that, which works fine. Um, but I asked uh, out of darts if uh, the one that I did buy for the OFD that didn't fit into it, if it would fit into this, because this is a T uh, uh, XT30 connector, and they said yes. So hopefully. We're good on the battery. If we're not, there's gonna be two parts to this video. <laughs> so a lot of tape on this guy. A lot of tape. Oh, there's that. All right. And there we go. So, first impressions. Oh, it's very comfortable. This is rubberized, this is very nice. 
Very nice trigger pull. Very springy. Like that very much. Um, now, when I first looked this up, uh, of course, I looked up the um, the kits that could go with it eventually. Um, I let you guys vote down below if you wanted to have like the uh, tack rail stuff. So you'd have like one here, and I think it was one on the side and one on the side. Um, and I, I think that was it. Um, basically, it was just a tack rail loadout. Um, and then there was one from Foam Demic, which is basically building a, a small uh, blaster into a very long blaster. You guys voted on that, so I will be working on that. I need to talk to Jade over at Foam Demic about the um, the other thing that I work because it's been like a month, and I'm like, where is it? So um, I want to know where that is as opposed to buying that kit um, because. If that's going to take a while, how long is it going to take to get the kit for this? Um, I may order the tack rail just for me because I do like a smaller blaster. Um, we already have enough long blasters as is, but because you guys want it, I will get it. Um, I don't know when though. Um, this looks like it's a holster, just goes on your belt like that and goes in like that. So if this is on your side right here. You can jostle it around a little bit. It doesn't really come out, so that's nice. Okay. Let's get one of these magazines out here. This came out with him. I'm not sure what these are. Some sort of ID scanner. And a sticker. So this is a 15 round magazine. They give you 10 rounds. I got more. It's fine. Um, but yeah, very skinny. Um, if you compare it to a regular, uh, let's see, remember regular 15? Yeah, we got a regular 15. Wait, no we don't. Yeah, we do. 15 round regular Talon magazine compared to this one. Yeah, it's a little bit skinnier. Um, not that much skinnier, but enough to notice. Um, and it's not see-through. Uh, you can get different magazines though. I think I got all of them just regular black just because to match. Uh, but you can get transparent black, I think orange now, um, solid black like this, and I think one other color. Um, yeah, let's see how that fits in there. Very nice. Uh, I guess this happy button <laughs> is the mag release. Yep. So it does come out very nicely with the low, uh, low gravity, which is very nice. Do uh, love a uh, very smooth um, release mag on that. Um, but let's go ahead um, and put the battery into this thing. It's, now, I bought this battery for the OFD Quick. Uh, didn't go into that because the OFD that I have is a XT60. This is an XT30. Uh, I asked them if this would work in this guy and they said it would. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and charge this really quick because I don't know how many days it's been. Um, and then we will put this into the blaster and uh, test it. So see you guys in a second. All right, guys. So I got the uh, battery all charged up and uh, in there. So we're gonna put that right back into there, like so. Put the cap back on. Put the screw back in. Like so. There we go. And then um, it won't fire automatically because there is a on and off switch back here. So down is off, up is on. That's a very nice wind up and wind down, I like. Cool. So let's, uh, let me get the chronograph here. We'll get some FPS off of it, of course. Move all this junk out of the way. We will put the 10 rounds that it came with into the magazine here. Okay, so it goes like this. So technically this is kind of an angled mag in a sense. Um, it's an angled slim mag, I guess is what you would call it. 
Uh, and I already noticed the difference when loading these versus loading a regular uh, mag, either whether it's angled or not. Uh, you do have more room. Uh, these are very sleek and slender comparatively. And I do believe that the Nightingale is um, semi-auto. Uh, full auto if you pull it really fast, I guess. But let's, uh, let's go ahead and find out here. What kind of FPS we get out of this guy? There's that. I'm gonna turn it on. Turn this on. Just gonna pick this up and do it. 147.4. 291.5. And that one actually skimmed me going backwards and it actually burned. <laughs> 305.4. 289, 204, 293, 292, 197, but I hit the side. So, very powerful with this battery that I have in it. Um, almost too powerful. <laughs> it's a little scary. Um, but yeah, very cool. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say about this. But uh, that's the Nightingale Blaster as is with that battery. Um, I'm not exactly sure what exact battery that they usually recommend for this. Um, I don't think it was the one that I put in. But that's the one that I'm going to use because it fits. It's an XT30 and it, uh, it's very good in there. Um, but let's get into this extra stuff here. This is just a little thing of Molly uh, for the magazines. So... I have one kind of like this, but it's for like the regular magazine size. Um, but I wanted to see, because if this thing was really good, which it is, uh, I want to have extra magazines for a loadout. And it is meeting above standards in the hopes that I had. So very nice. Just gonna open these guys up real quick. All right, we got the three out here. Let's see how they fit in this guy. Uh, I'm gonna guess it goes up, not positive. We'll make them fit all the same way just because of unity reasons. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. Fit very nicely in there, very sleek. Cool. So, let me know what you guys think about the Nightingale set, uh, along with the carrying case with the extra mags. Uh, I will leave a link down below uh, for out of darts for the Nightingale itself, the battery that I used, um, extra mags, the and the uh, Molly stuff right here. Um, but let me know if you guys have a Nightingale. Let me know if you like it, love it, whatever. Um, with this one, especially as hard as it's firing, I suggest goggles. Um, but other than that, please like, follow, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. All right, bye.